I don't like to make cookie cutter step-by-step -step tutorials about techniques, so instead I like to show what I actually use in real life. So here I am with Linji and there is a hand fighting setup to an arm drag to a single leg boom takedown. So let's break that down, the hand fighting, and then we'll show you what happened afterward to set up a Darce choke. So, I counter Linji's two-on-one attempt with my own two-on-one. He has a sleeve grip, so I switch to a wrist grab, elbow, tricep, and pull. Same thing from a perspective a little bit further away. We're going to take turns doing the arm drag, dropping, changing level to grab the leg. You'll see that from Linji's perspective. And there he goes. And to finish the takedown, we simply apply more forward pressure as we pull, lowering the level of the hip as we elevate the level of the leg. That'll add an impact step to that, and boom, on the floor. Nice, quick, powerful takedown. Right from the hand fighting. This movement is virtually identical to this movement from Taiji Twin Forms. See it right there. Notice I'm dropping my feet a little, almost like I'm jumping up and then hopping down to generate power. So you see that in action right here in a live roll. Boom. Arm drag. Now from right here, I lace the leg, one of my favorite guard passes, right into a cradle. Head and the top leg into the cradle. I'm going to speed this up quite a bit because it's kind of boring. Linji pummels for the underhook, attempting to pull himself out. I capitalize on that, switching to the Darce choke. And there's the tap. So let's break down that transition a little bit. So from the leg lace, I move in front of him, loop my arm over the head, lock my hands in the middle, using an S-grip like this, securing a cradle. show you that from the other side. This is a very powerful pass for a knee shield style guard. Now it's not the arm laced between the legs that controls, it is the shoulder on the hip, the weight of the body on the shoulder connected to the hip. So from this position, I'll give Linji a little bit of space, give him the illusion of control so that he can pummel his right arm through to get the underhook. I want him to have the underhook. So I lace my arm underneath. I'm gonna lift my body up so you can see a little bit what I'm doing. So that I can thread my arm under his neck and then lock my arms up in the figure four to finish the Darce choke. Can I give him a little bit of space? He takes the underhook. I counter with the wizard, reach deep underneath, get the three quarter Nelson switch to that figure four, sprawl down for the Darce choke. And there we go. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.